Hey guys, it's Noah and welcome back to the channel. So I already made this video last night, but there were a lot of things that I didn't address, a lot of topics that I wanted to discuss. So I'm remaking this video and I'm going to discuss everything in this video. So Amazon has halted all FBA shipments inside the US and the EU markets for the exception of these prioritized items. And we're gonna get into those categories in a bit. But the reason for this is obviously due to the outbreak and all of the items that are in demand, all these items that Amazon is seeing record numbers of sales for. So in order to meet those demands, Amazon is now prioritizing those items so that they can quickly get them into their warehouse, receive them, package them up, and then ship them out to customers. So I'm going to leave this article in the description if you want to read it, but Amazon is saying that they are prioritizing household staples, medical supplies, and other high in demand products. And it's mostly in these six categories. So baby products, health and household, beauty and personal care, grocery, industrial and scientific, and also pet supplies. So when I first heard this information on Tuesday morning, the very first thing that I thought was, there's no guarantee that this is going to last until April 5th. Things can deteriorate, the situation can get worse, and there's no guarantee that Amazon is going to open up their warehouses back up to the other items by April 5th. As far as I know, Amazon has not had a hard stop to shipments in the past. They have had deadlines where they say that you need to get your inventory in by a certain date if you want to sell during holiday seasons or during Q4. So this is a very unique situation and it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Another thing that I think a lot of sellers are realizing is that this is Amazon's platform. Yes, a lot of people know that, but at the end of the day, after years of doing business, if you've been doing this for a while, if you just keep on sending in shipments and nothing really happens, at the end of the day, Amazon controls the traffic, Amazon controls the warehouses, and they control the platform so they can basically do anything they want because it's their business. As I've been talking with other FBA sellers, people who do private label, people who do wholesale, I myself do drop shipping, this is affecting businesses all around the board and it's going to change how we do e-commerce, not just for this time period, but it's also going to change how people conduct their business in the future because I think people are now realizing that they can't rely on Amazon and they need to have multiple marketplaces, either their own website, maybe sell on eBay or another marketplace, and that they're also going to need different suppliers, access to different items, especially private label sellers. Imagine if you only relied on one product and now your product, you couldn't ship it more inventory. If it was going out of stock, you really couldn't do anything about that. The last major point that I want to talk about is drop shipping and also fulfilled by merchant. Inside the Facebook groups where people talk about FBA, I've seen a lot of sellers proposing the idea of doing FBM and fulfilling everything themselves. So if you don't actually have the infrastructure set up, it's going to be hard to get a warehouse space. It's going to be hard if you don't have access to a garage, especially if you have your inventory already in China or you, if you have large shipments. So it's going to be logistically challenging to a lot of businesses. But if you already have the drop shipping side set up, where you have your suppliers, where you already have your methods for sourcing your items, I think a lot of dropshipping businesses are going to find this very beneficial. So the last thing that I wanna say is that yes, this is a roadblock. This is a hurdle in some people's businesses right now, but this is also a great opportunity. This is a great opportunity to learn about new things, maybe moving over to different marketplaces, looking at new fulfillment services, and this is also a great opportunity to grow your business. There's a lot of uncertainty in the market. You have a lot of people who are running out of inventory, a lot of people who have stopped running PPC campaigns because they don't wanna run out of inventory or they don't know if it's worth it to continue advertising. So you have a lot of uncertainty in the market. And like in 2008, the people who got into real estate were the people who made the money. So in my opinion, the businesses that are able to adjust, that are able to feel out the market, see what's working and to adjust their businesses, those are the people who are going to be able to capitalize off this. For me personally, in my business, I mainly sell a wide variety of different products. I sell garden supplies, I sell planters, I sell home decor items. So those particular items are taking a hit in terms of sales. Most people are not really ordering any planters while they're stuck in quarantine, but I also sell other products that are growing. So because I have access to wholesalers and I sell in multiple different marketplaces, my business is not taking as big a hit overall. And on top of that, most of my business is made up of drop shipping. The bigger part of my business is the funeral side. I sell a lot of funeral products, urns, caskets, funeral handouts, roses, stuff like that. So because of that, I have access to other funeral products like pet supplies. Because I have suppliers that sell pet urns, they also sell pet food, leashes, beds, and stuff like that. So I do have access to pet supplies and that funeral side is not hurting as much. Currently, as of now, I'm going to be testing out a new fulfillment service. I'm going to see if I can find a different service that can basically ship out the products, not only for Amazon, but that can also link up to Shopify or eBay, and that if I could find a new warehouse to basically operate my items out of. But I'm going to take this time to learn and to grow my business and see where I want things to go. 
So I'd be curious to know about your plans. How is this affecting your business? What are you doing in face of all of this? So let me know in the comments down below. I'd be really curious to hear your thoughts. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.